Welcome to Motorsport Reports. I'm your host, Julia Piquet. The Formula One summer break is coming to its end with the mighty Belgian Grand Prix only one week away. The drivers have had two full weeks to rest and recuperate before tackling the second half of the season. And what a second half it is going to be. Expect a lot of action from main rivals Sebastian Vettel and Lewis Hamilton as they continue their fight for the championship crown throughout the remaining nine races. But don't be so quick to rule these two as the only serious title contenders. Mercedes driver Valtteri Bottas, currently third in the standings, is only 19 points away from Hamilton and 33 behind championship leader Vettel. If the Finn can keep up his consistent results and score a couple more wins this season, don't be surprised to see him right up there as a factor in the fight, just as he was in Hungary. That's where things could get a little heated at Mercedes, perhaps a Rosberg-Hamilton rivalry déjà vu. The second half of the season will also bring answers to many contract-related questions. Will Fernando Alonso bet on a better performing McLaren Honda for 2018? Or will he flock to another team, perhaps back towards his spiritual home at Renault where he won his world titles? Will Ferrari renew its contract with Kimi Raikkonen or open up the spot to a new driver like Sergio Perez, Roman Grosjean or Carlos Sainz? Will Bottas be re-signed at Mercedes? He's currently on a one-year contract and he's had quite an impressive performance so far, so it would seem like a no-brainer. And what about Red Bull? There's no question Verstappen and Ricciardo have had their fair share of tension this season, not to mention the reliability issues Max has been dealing with. They're both on for another year with the team, but it wouldn't be surprising to see Verstappen make an early escape, especially if his contract involves a performance clause somewhere. So what can we expect from the next Formula One race? Belgium's spa Francochon circuit is among the most historic on the Formula One calendar. With high average speeds and very unpredictable weather, Spa has always been a favorite amongst drivers and fans. Last year's action-packed Belgium Grand Prix saw Nico Rosberg win ahead of Red Bull's Daniel Ricciardo and a huge crash for Renault's Kevin Magnussen, which halted the race. Max Verstappen was robbed of a potential podium finish when the Ferraris collided with him at the first corner after the young Red Bull driver started second on the grid. Sebastian Vettel started the race from fourth, but got caught up in the whole Raikkonen-Verstappen collision, losing valuable places but still managing a sixth-place finish. Raikkonen was another big loser of the weekend, starting third and only finishing in ninth. But perhaps the most impressive performer was Lewis Hamilton, who made his race start from the back of the grid due to unscheduled gearbox and power unit changes, but fought his way back through the pack, securing the last step on the podium. If this year's Grand Prix is anything like last year's, it will be a very exciting race. That's it for today's episode. I'm Julia Piquet, and see you next time on Motorsport Reports.